Flash back to 2009, despite offering just two sleepy sedans and one three-row crossover, Buick survived General Motors bankruptcy-related restructuring wherein the company euthanized nearly half of its brand portfolio. Buick was then charged with expanding into new segments to fill the chasm between Chevrolet and Cadillac products, an endeavor that occasionally prompts Buick to engage its global partners to achieve, including the 2011 Regal, a mid-sized sedan based on the Opel Insignia. The Regal slash Insignia was a lovely enough thing, if not exactly what Americans expected in a Buick. What with its taut European suspension, four-cylinder-only engine lineup, and small rear seat, it was remarkably fun to drive, especially in the turbocharged Regal Turbo and G's models that would come later. But they felt about as Buick-like as a BMX bike. Highs cargo area sleeps too. Quiet and quick turbo four. Drives like a proper Buick. Lows a few not so luxurious appointments. Compromised rearward visibility. No longer feels like an Opel. So when Buick revealed its redesigned 2018 Regal as, clutch chest, hatchback, sportback, and high-riding wagon, tour, models, with no sedan at all for the United States, we wondered if that meant that Buick had doubled down on the Regal's Europeanness or if, despite its Eurocentric body styles, the Regal would actually feel like a Buick this time. Now that we've gotten a taste of the new Regal Sportback, first in the form of an Opel Insignia and now in Buick livery, we can say that the new Regal Sportback is every inch a Buick. A Buick that has been to finishing school in Europe, yes, but still a proper Buick. View photos. Zero edge styling it sure looks like a Buick, all curvy and pretty and sleek but about as aggressive looking as a freshly groomed Weimaraner at the Westminster Kennel Club dog show, yes, it's a hatchback, and its sportback moniker ambitiously invites comparison to the sexy Audi A5 sportback, but it's a hatchback styled to look like a sedan, and hence it will ruffle no feathers from traditionalists, all sportbacks that aren't the Goose G's model. Anyway, look more or less the same. The 